Hello, my name is Cody and I work for Keyence. Today I'll be going over how to connect an IV vision sensor with an Allen Bradley PLC. Specifically, I'll be using a Compact Logix L24ER QB1B, an IV HG10 amplifier, and an IV HG500CA sensor head. As I mentioned before, I am using a Compact Logix controller in this video, but the setup is the same for a Control Logix as well. I'll be going over how to connect to your IV and set the IP address, how to enable Ethernet IP on your IV, and how to create the module in Logix Designer for your IV and import the tags. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a connection between your IV and your PC and click network connection. Make sure that you have the correct network adapter selected here, then click search sensor. If IV Navigator can't find your sensor, make sure that you have allowed IV Navigator through the Windows firewall and that you have set a static IP address on your PC. Once you find the sensor, click connect and this is where you set the IP address and then click connect again. In order to enable Ethernet IP, uh, go to the advanced settings here, environmental, field network, setting, select Ethernet IP and then click OK. When enabling Ethernet IP, your IV will perform a reset but as soon as it's able, it will automatically reestablish the connection with IV Navigator. Once that's been done, you can go to Logix Designer and create a program. Make sure that you use the right controller and revision level. Here I have a program I created with nothing in it yet. Uh, to add the module, right click Ethernet here, select new module you're going to want to add a generic Ethernet module and I'm going to name this IV but if you choose to name yours something else then in the tag file you'll want to do a find and replace to replace IV with whatever name you do put here I'll be using a dint uh, type module, and then here's where you input the IP address of your IV. These numbers for a DINT module would be 100, 98, 101, 3, 1, and 0. If you decide to make an INT module instead, this will be 196, and this is 6. Then click OK. If you're going to connect multiple PLCs to the one IV, then uncheck this box, but since I'm using only one PLC, I'm going to leave it checked. Then click OK. To import the tags, go to Tools, Import, Tags and Logic Comments, and select the tag file. And then download the program to the PLC. If you do not have the tag file, make sure that you remember what type of module you created, whether it's DINT or INT, and reach out to your local Kiant sales rep or to Kiant's tech support, and we can provide you with the appropriate tag file. Just to show you that this is working, I'll put this into run mode. I'll go to IV output data 0.0, .0 which is the trigger request I will set it to 1 and hit enter as you can see I triggered the IV through my Logix Designer program 
I hope you found this video helpful, and if you need further assistance, feel free to reach out to 888 Keyence, and uh, option two is tech support.